Breaking news now. Two senior administration officials tell Fox that President Trump is looking to fire FBI Director Christopher Wray. President Trump may make that move, those sources say, when he wins re-election next Tuesday. Joining us tonight is Rick Grinnell, former acting director of national intelligence, former U.S. ambassador to Germany, a great American, and as I have said uh, more than once on this broadcast, one of the finest public servants the country has ever had. Uh, Rick, good to have you with us. I want to start sir. with uh, the CIA. Uh, the CIA, it seems, uh, insisting on blocking the release of Devin Nunes's intelligence report from 2017 at any cost. Uh, your, your thoughts about that tonight? Look, we've had a number of the intelligence agencies not recognize the importance of transparency. Uh, this is a, a real problem. It goes um, across all of the intelligence agencies who overclassify and continue to manipulate the process, pretending like somehow sources or methods are being given away. And I can assure you that that is not happening. I, I had lots of fights with intelligence officials and leaders uh, where they were trying mm -hmm. to explain to me why certain information was uh, either a source or a method in how we developed a source. And I would, I would really push back hard and say, that's not the case at all. What the case is, is that you're covering up internal mistakes of the department. And you don't have a right to do that. This is not an exercise in trying to protect the reputation right. of different agencies. We have a crisis in this country with intelligence agencies. And if we're going to fix it, the American people need to have a faith in their system. And the faith starts by admitting mistakes and coming clean and saying, we, we erred and we're going to fix this. Yeah, I think in this instance, Rick, and I, I think you would agree with me, uh, this is not about their mistakes. This is about uh, their immorality and illegality in trying to overthrow a president and block a presidential candidate through spying uh, and actual uh, counter uh, intelligence operations run against the White House itself. Uh, that makes it a different, a different, sadly, a very different thing. And the American people here need to know their sources and their methods. It's one of those uh, dilemmas uh, the government has never faced before and the, and the nation has never faced before. Uh, this, this intelligence report, uh, the Devin Nunes report that they will not release from the so-called uh, gun box uh, in the CIA, uh, is it any more than simple, uh, simple effort to cover up uh, a crime on the part of the CIA? Look, this is a situation I have to be very careful of um, in how I describe this. I understand. Um, we've, we've gone round and round with this, and it is not a fight about uh, appropriate information. Uh, and that's what is most frustrating. And um, I, I've seen this information, and it's, it's another early red flag raising concerns that um, this Russian collusion uh, hoax was being developed when inside the intelligence agencies, career intelligence officials knew that the information was wrong. But political appointees decided to let the wrong information be spread because they didn't like uh, to have to downplay it because it would look like they were defending Donald Trump. This information was uh, was negative towards Donald Trump and political appointees in the Obama administration allowed it to continue despite knowing full well it was Russian propaganda. And that's what's most troubling to me is, is that we had people who took the oath to defend this country and instead of defending this country, they used their uh, power in government to weaponize different powers against their political opponents. And that's unacceptable. We, we have to be able to call this out. And by the way, I've worked at the State Department for 11 years. If we saw this happening in another right. country, we would call it out immediately and we would tell them to knock it off. Instead, uh, we're looking at a situation in which 
Uh, the president has given the power of declassification his power. Uh, if one can actually delegate such a power, he has done so uh, to William Barr, the attorney general, uh, and to the uh, uh, to uh, uh, DNI John Ratcliffe. It, it is yet nothing has happened. What is your honest, most realistic, direct um, anticipation of what will come of it, if anything? Look, Donald Trump's got to be reelected if we're going to have something come of this, because um, there have been those, uh, and I will just keep it general as to those, um, who are working very hard to delay, obstruct, and to come up with uh, brand new excuses constantly. And um, this is a very well-known issue to President Trump. Um, it's been discussed inside the Oval Office on a number of times. And uh, I think that, um, let me just take a step back away from, from that general, uh, from that specific right. uh, issue and make a general comment. I think that when Donald Trump uh, wins re-election, and I believe that he will, that he must appoint people that uh, don't have on their resume a Washington, D.C. address. We need outsiders like Donald Trump, because people who go to Washington and who really care about their social status or their future economic status are not appropriate uh, to make tough transitional decisions. We need intelligence agencies that are not political. We need to clean up the politics. And right now, it's a mess. Rick Rennell, it is always uh, great to see you and have, uh, have your thoughts, your perspective. Uh, refreshing in their directness uh, and uh, insightful. Uh, we appreciate it. 